YouTube, this is Tom coming to you from Reno, Nevada. The uh, channel you stumbled upon is Pipe NV, and I appreciate you doing so. Uh, again, my name is Tom, and uh, thanks for uh, coming on board. Just wanted to share some thoughts. Um, as many of you uh, know, well, as I wouldn't say many of you know, but as some of you know, as one or two of you know, uh, I'm a brand new pipe smoker. I uh, have never smoked a pipe up until uh, just a few days ago. Uh, today is December 28th. Had my first pipe on Christmas Day, so really only a few days into it. In that period of time, I've had probably five uh, bowls that I've smoked. Um, and so, I don't know, just trying to get the hang of things. So just wanted to share a couple of thoughts. Um, I <clears throat> am trying two different kinds of tobacco, uh, both of which I got from uh, the Tinderbox, which is my uh, really our only option here in Reno uh, for a pipe tobacco that, that I found. I, I could be wrong. But um, the two that I bought from there, one is an aromatic. It's called Wilshire. Wilshire. Uh, and it's there, uh, it's Lane 1Q, apparently. And then the other one is called the Balkan Supreme, which is an English, uh, you know, non-aromatic uh, blend. Don't know what the, um, you know, what the brand name of that would be. Um, so that's kind of what I'm running with at this point. Uh, really, really enjoy both. Um, I realize that I uh, don't have a very sophisticated palate, I guess you'd say, um, when I... Uh, watch the the videos that are on YouTube um, and hear these you know all of you um, uh, veteran pipe smokers talk about you know the different flavors that you're picking up as you're smoking um, not quite to the point where I can identify those um, really <clears throat> the only thing I can identify is whether I like it or not um, and so far both blends um, I I do like so I'm hopefully as I smoke more and smoke more uh, different you know types of tobaccos, I'll be able to kind of identify what it is that I'm exactly picking up. So, um, so there's that. Um, also, I've been using um, <clears throat> my corn cob here. This is from uh, Missouri Meerschaum. It's the country gentleman with the uh, with the bent stem. Um, I, I really like it. Seems to be doing well. Uh, but uh, again, as this is my first uh, and only pipe. Uh, I really don't have much to compare it to, so, um, but so far so good. I don't have a problem with it um, as far as the way it smokes. Um, I've noticed that you know even after smoking really only five times, I am kind of developing a little bit of uh, bite marks on there. Uh, I guess teeth chatter is what the proper terminology is. Chatter. Anyway, so that's kind of weird. I wasn't really expecting. Uh, to to I wasn't really expecting this to show, you know, signs of wear after only smoking it five times. But again, hey, it was twelve bucks, so I'm not gonna bitch about it too bad. Um, also, inside, I I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can show this to you. But um, if if you're unfamiliar with the way these work, there's a that little part of the stem that comes in, and uh, Scott at Aristocop does a great job kind of explaining what's going on here. Um, but I'm having a hard time keeping that area clean. Um, there you go. Kind of keeping that area around that stem. Um, there's a lot of dawdle that kind of collects in there. And so I really have to like, really, I feel like a friggin' coal miner trying to get all that crap out. And then um, I've noticed that my, my pipe cleaners are leaving a little bit of residue, uh, like a little bit of fuzziness as, you know, when, after I run it through. So... That's been kind of annoying. Um, I, I think that could just be that I'm using cheap pipe cleaners. Um, uh, as I mentioned before, I am a cheap bastard. I will freely admit that. And so I bought the cheapest pipe cleaners I could find. So that's probably has something to do with it. So I may have to uh, I may have to upgrade my pipe cleaners. So anyway, that's kind of uh, my uh, my take on the uh, whole pipe smoking thing. Um, only a couple of days into it. Again, um, I really, um, I really been enjoying it. It's been, ge it's been getting me um, to enjoy um, kind of some quiet time, especially uh, sitting by the fire in the backyard with the wife. Um, so that's been nice, and um, it's been, uh, it's been cool. So I've been liking it. Um, looking forward to kind of 
growing more in my in my knowledge and my uh, and again being able to uh, you know kind of learn a little bit more about you know what it is that I'm that I'm smoking. But um, as I do so, I want to say thank you again to the uh, to the pipe community here on YouTube. Um, you guys are phenomenal in terms of uh, your wealth of knowledge and your willingness to uh, to share that knowledge. So thank you very much, and um, we'll catch up with you down the road. Have a good one. Adios.